Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at Manjaro Cinnamon. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. This is the new Manjaro Cinnamon. It's been in the news lately because it no longer has Firefox as its default browser. It has switched over to Vivaldi. We will look at that in a little bit. But first, when you boot it up into a live USB or a virtual machine, this is the screen you are met with. Very beautiful background, Manjaro Cinnamon. You can right-click, obviously, and customize, and if you want to change icon size you can if you want to rearrange your layout you can you can reset gridding spacing you can move that if you see over there it's moving we'll close that and of course package manager says i have some updates that are available the first thing we want to do is we want to start down on the bottom panel down here you've got user information you got your clock you got your power management you got battery you got your audio settings internet that's your update shield telling you there is an update clipboard manager workspace one workspace two and you can always add more down here if you want them and then we'll come over here you've got show desktop you've got Vivaldi. You've got Terminal and you've got File Manager. Let's go ahead and open up the File Manager. And of course, you've got a beautiful File Manager that's in the Cinnamon Desktop. you got your files here. And then of course, you got your usual suspects over here, your home desktop documents, etc. These are stuck in place, so you cannot move them. We'll go up here and look at what version we have here. We've got Nemo. It's 5.0.3. So let's close out of that. And of course, if you want to change the size of these icons, all you got to do is come down here, move this little slider right here, and they will get bigger. There you go. So we'll close out of File Manager. Let's go ahead and zip on over into terminal real quick. Let's see if they've got HTOP installed out of the box, and they do. Right now, I've got a machine that I've issued two gigabytes of RAM to and two CPUs. At present, it's using 830 megabytes of that two gigabytes of RAM, so it's pretty good at rest. And on the CPU, it's using one CPU is using 5%, 1430, so it's bouncing anywhere between 10 and 30. So that's pretty good on a low spec machine. We'll close out a terminal. We'll go down here to the menu. When you open the menu, you've got system settings right here. Let's go ahead and click on that. We open that up. You can change backgrounds right here. Just click on backgrounds. And right now we've got a beautiful Manjaro background down here. But if you want to go with something a little different, you can click on that and it changes it. I don't know. We can go to that one. And I kind of like that. I like that brown look right there. So we'll leave that there. And then you've got gnome wallpapers you could pick if you want to. And then if you have your own pictures you want to upload, you can drop those in here. Then we can click on over to the setting, play backgrounds as a slideshow. You can click that on and it'll just slideshow through all the backgrounds. Picture aspect and then of course background color. So let's close out of that. Accessories. You've got your archive manager, your disks, your help, your HP device manager if you're still using a printer. Graphics, you've got G Color 2, you've got GIMP out of the box, and you've got PIX, Internet, you've got HexChat, Pigeon, Thunderbird, and Vivaldi. That is the new default browser. Let's go ahead and open that up. And when you open up Vivaldi, you'll see it's got a much different look than you deal with with a Firefox or even a Chromium or a Chrome. And when you first open it up, it gives you Essentials, Classic, or Fully Loaded. In Essentials, it does not track you. It's got an ad blocker and translation. But it's got panel bar, status bar, fast forward, mail, calendar, feeds isn't included. Classic does not track you, add and track blocker, translation panel, status bar, fast forward and rewind, no mail, calendar, or feeds. And then fully loaded gives you everything, including the mail, calendar, and feeds. Right now it's asking us to choose a genome king ring to protect our passwords. So let's go ahead and just throw something in. Even though I'm in a virtual box, I'll go ahead and do this. That's done. Go with the fully loaded, which gives you your email right here inside your browser. Now it integrates really well. And if you hold on just one second, I'm going to enter my email account and I will show you. And as you can see, I've entered my email email information. And if you look over here, it shows that it's populating everything. And if I click on inbox, it will actually show me my inbox right here. We're going to go ahead and pop back up here to unread and we'll leave it there because I don't want you to read my emails, but you can integrate your emails right here in Vivaldi. So if you don't want to have a, an email client directly on your operating system, you can put all of your email addresses in here and be able to look at them, open it up, and it will open it up right here in the window for you, even if it's spam political email. Let's go ahead and close out of the email. Now that I've shown you what the email is, you can come over here and you can kind of just look around. If you go over here, there's your bookmarks. You can download history, notes, Vivaldi's website, and Wikipedia. And then if you come down here, you've got settings. You can open up your settings for Vivaldi right in here. You've got general. That can You can make it your default browser, close and exit, how you want it to do it. Do you want it to close with a dialogue? Do you want it to close with a confirmation dialogue? Appearance, you can come over here and change your appearance if you would like. Themes, you can go over here and there are many themes that you can choose from over here. Now I'm just going to pick, let's go with Vivaldi. That's the Vivaldi theme. We were in dark. We can go to the human theme, which gives you more of an Ubuntu feel. You can go to the Manjaro cinnamon theme, and it'll go right along with what you have on your system. Blueprint. There are several different themes 
or you can come down here and kind of build your own theme. Start page. Start page navigation, you can show on speed dial. You can come down here, set your speed dial thumbnail size if you want, default size. You want to make it small or tiny, large, huge, scale to fit columns. It's completely customizable. Then you can do tabs. If you want to, you can have your tabs go across the top. You can have your tabs go down the left side. You can have them go down the right side, or you can even have your tabs at the bottom. So they give you many different ways to customize it. You got your panel, address bar, but it's just something for you to look at, especially if you're going to download Manjaro Cinnamon and give it a shot. It's definitely something you want to take for a spin. Vivaldi is definitely interesting. There is a lot to get into, and I'm going to do a video on it here shortly. So let's close out of Vivaldi. Goodbye, Firefox. Hello, Vivaldi. And down to Office, you've got Microsoft Office Online, Sound and Video, Lollipop, Media Player, Pulse Audio, Administration, Add and Remove Software. Let's check that out real quick. What you want to do is go down to Preferences. And the first thing you want to do before you start downloading anything is go to third party, enable AUR with Arch User Repository Support, which is a community driven database of applications that you can install on Manjaro. Once you've had that set, go back over to general down here where it says official repositories, use mirrors from. It says worldwide, you want to click refresh mirrors. That will take anywhere from one to five minutes. Basically, what it does is just update all the mirrors that you can download from. That way, you've got the most up to date mirrors. And when you go to download something, you're getting it from the close closest and fastest mirror that you can get it from. So let's close out of that. And once that's done, you can come up here. You can pick whether you want installed, repositories, AUR, do a search, and it'll put it right here and list it. That's as easy as that. Preferences, about me, accessibility, advanced network configuration, desk lits, display, places, recent system settings. And right here, you've got everything. You've got backgrounds, effects, font selection, themes. Let's say you wanted to go to font. Right now you're on Cantrell. Let's say you like this font, but it's a little small for you. Just go down here, scale it up a little bit. That way you can see it a little better. There you go. You're good to go. So let's go back. You've got your themes. Right now, this is your window borders. You can change those if you want. At present, we're running Minty Y Dark. If you want to run it up to there, you click on it and you can see that your borders change. So let's go ahead and put that back. And then, of course, your icons. You've got Papyrus. You've got ePapyrus. You've got Papyrus Light. If you want blue instead of green, just hit Papyrus Dark. It changes everything over to a blue U as opposed to a green. And then, of course, your controls, mouse pointer, dock. If you want to change your mouse pointer to a black pointer, all you got to do is click on it and it changes it immediately. Then you've got a Accessibility, account tools, applets. If you want to put more applets down here or take applets off of the panel, you can. Desktop panel, online accounts. If you want to go in and set up your online accounts, you can set up Google, Nextcloud, Facebook, Microsoft, Flickr, Foursquare, Microsoft Exchange, Last FM, Media Server. You can do whatever you want to on this operating system. It's your typical Manjaro. I get a lot of flack because people tell me all the time, why do you recommend Manjaro to new people coming to Linux? Why not? Manjaro Cinnamon definitely made some news this week, getting rid of Firefox, including Vivaldi. I think Vivaldi is a great browser. I think people will get used to using it. There's just been so many users going away from Firefox that we need something other than Firefox or Chrome or a Chromium. We need something different and I think Vivaldi will definitely give people what they're looking for. Do me a favor before you go. Please like and subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost anything and at the end of the day if you don't like me you can always unsubscribe. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next video.